So I see a lot of people talking about good anime series, and that's understandable, TV anime are a lot easier to watch, you only have to sit down for about 20 minutes at a time. But I feel like loads of people are missing out on some great movies because of this. So I thought I would make a few recommendations on what anime movies to watch. The first movie is a personal favourite of mine, Sword of the Stranger by Studio Bones. The movie didn't get that much attention when it was released in 2007, but don't let that fool you. Sword of the Stranger is a stunningly animated samurai movie about a young boy who's on the run from a group of swordsmen. The movie brings up a lot of really interesting material that you don't see much in samurai movies. It tells the story from the perspective of someone alive at the time. What I mean by this is that the story makes you naive. It makes you believe things that would have been believed back then. You start to forget what you know and start thinking like a person from that time. The best bit about this movie has to be the outstanding animation. The fight scenes are just breathtaking. If nothing else, watch this movie for the action scenes. Millennium Actress by Satoshi Kon is a movie told in an incredibly unique way. Kon throws away the normal narrative structure to create this movie. It's told through an interview with a retired actor. As she tells a story from her past, we literally enter her memories, and I mean literally. The memories merge together with the present day characters, creating a really unique and immersive viewing experience. Paired with great visuals and an awesome soundtrack, Millennium Actress has to be one of my favourite anime films. A definite must watch. Wolf Children is one of the more recent movies on the list. It was released in 2012 and quickly became one of the best titles of the year. It has a really powerful story about a mother trying to raise her children. There are some really emotional scenes and really engaging characters in the movie, not to mention the extremely high quality animation and artwork. Madhouse done a really great job of putting everything together to a very high standard. Perfect Blue is another con movie, but this one's a lot darker than Millennium Actress. It follows the dark life of an idol trying to become famous in Japan, and it shows the more sinister side of the business. The way the story is told really makes Perfect Blue stand out. We see the story in the skewed way that our main character sees her life. As the movie goes on, it gets more cryptic. It gets more confusing as the character falls deeper into psychological despair. Though I say it's confusing, it's not impossible to understand or anything. And it's not a bad confusing. I wouldn't just recommend watching this once, but multiple times. Mind Game is an interesting one. Probably the most underappreciated movie on this list. Misaki Yuasa once again creates an impressive piece of work using unconventional story and animation techniques. The story is really fun with a great message, and it has its fair share of both comedic moments and powerful moments. The fact that Yuasa was involved with this should seal the deal already, but if not, then take my recommendation. Mind Game is a brilliantly made movie. All the components come together to create one of the best adventure anime of its decade. To be honest, everyone here should have watched Akira. I don't think many people can argue that Akira is probably the most important anime of all time, especially for the western industry. It was Japan's most expensive animated movie at the time, and it really shows. Akira has some of the best animation ever produced, even to this day. You can use all the technology in the world for modern anime, but very few come close to looking as amazing as Akira does. The smooth movement, detailed city backgrounds and iconic character designs, Akira is one of the best looking anime ever created. But it's not just a pretty looking face, Akira has a great story too. It's an adaptation of Katsuhiro Otomo's Akira manga. You would think turning such a monster of a manga into one film would be impossible, but they've done a great job of condensing the story into a single piece of cinematography. The reason it was such a successful adaptation was because Otomo himself was in charge of the movie. No one knew the story of Akira more than he did, so he was able to pick and choose what and how the manga was adapted. Seriously, if you haven't seen Akira, go watch it straight after this video. It's an essential for anyone who calls himself an anime fan. Princess Mononoke is one of my favourite Ghibli films. Normally Ghibli repeat characters and themes, but Mononoke really pushed up the bar when it came out. It has a really interesting story about humans living with the land. The characters were all pretty well developed, and I actually felt attached to them. The movie was animated to a very high standard, which is to be expected from Ghibli, but this movie in particular had excellent fluidity. Satoshi Kon is making it back onto the list with his recent movie, Paprika. Like the others I mentioned, Kon blurs the line that separates reality from fantasy. He tells a dreamlike story of a futuristic technology and the implications of that technology. Madhouse produced his movie again, and done a spectacular job. Paprika is a brilliant example of what modern animation can do, with super high quality detail and movement. The one movie that comes close to Akira's influence is Ghost in the Shell. If you've watched my videos for any amount of time, you know that I'm a huge fan of the sci-fi classic. There's little I can say to put this movie down. It was, and still is, one of the greatest pieces of animation. 
It's super smooth, the character designs are brilliant and iconic, and the backgrounds are breathtakingly detailed. Like Akira, Ghost in the Shell's influence surpasses Japan, and has had a huge impact on the Western film industry. The film has been noted as main inspirations for films like The Matrix. The characters are some of the best ever written, with great depth and outstanding development. The story, despite being set about 40 years in the future, is still one of the most accurate predictions of future life. Like Akira, this movie is unmissable for any self-proclaimed anime fan. Ninja Scrolls is another classic, although it didn't fare as well in the test of time than other films. Though it is still a great action film, the animation has a nice classic look, and although there are some quirks, it still looks great. Although a big focus of this movie is the action, the characters and story aren't neglected. The characters are all very enjoyable and get the viewer attached as the movie goes on. It's another important movie for the industry, and one I would recommend anyone to watch. So that's been my recommendations of must-watch anime movies. Of course there are loads more movies worth watching. If you have a specific favourite that I didn't include, please post it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, help me out by clicking the like button or sharing the video around. And don't forget to subscribe for more anime related video content.